Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in the computer business. Guys, we're going to have us another good one. You're going to love this because they are nowhere on YouTube. They are a great company and they actually contacted me. Check this thing out. So guys, you know, it's kind of neat. As we went to SHOT Show, we started to meet a whole bunch of new distributors. And one of you guys actually suggested these guys to me. And I reached out to them, didn't think I was going to hear too much from them because they're actually in Italy. Well, as it turns out, they were very excited to actually send out one of their weapons for us to test. I really hope that this thing works exactly as they're advertising because it's supposed to put out 18 jewels out of the box. Guys, that is awesome if it's true. Let's take a look at this. So here's what I received. We're going to crack this open together here and see what is in the box. I haven't even gotten a chance to get into this thing yet. All right. Okay, looks like we got us some ammo. And those are Zulu 50 cal balls, regular hard rubber. And those are 2.1 grams. And looks like we got some, that was kind of funky looking. Look at these things, guys. These are 2.6 gram X-ray rubber balls. So these are heavy rubber. And I'm kind of curious, I, I, at 2.6 grams, that's actually approaching the weight of the steel infused. So we'll have to take a look at that. Looks like we've got us, um, what in the world? That sounds like CO2 cartridges, guys. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what it is. I haven't been in here yet, so I have no idea what this is. I know what the gun is, obviously but I don't know what else is in this kit. So, and I don't know if they ship like this, so don't, <laughs> don't quote me on that, I'll tell you. All right, there we go. A little turned around here today. Okay, so these are, those are 12 gram CO2. That's just standard 12 gram CO2 cartridges. Special force. Now guys, these are, like I said, this company is in Italy. So they've got a distributor. looks like they sent me out about a dozen of those. That's kind of cool. And what else we got here? This looks like, what do we got here? Oh, guys, look at that. Those are steel balls. And I do mean steel. Wow, 50 caliber steel balls. Uh... We've had a hard time finding these here. You guys know that the size didn't quite fit. If this fits and they work well, I will talk to these guys about getting a bunch of these in here for you because I've been looking for good steel ones. All right, fantastic. All right, and now we're going to get to the meat and potatoes. All right, guys, this is the LTL Alpha 1.5, and I haven't opened it. We're going to see this together. Let's see what we got in here. All right, so, God, Lee, guys. Uh, yeah, okay, all right, focus, focus, focus. All right, so first here, you got yourself a cleaning brush. That's actually a, a legit cleaning brush, guys. That uh, feels like steel. And you've got your instructions, and a, your, this house is protected by God and LTL. That's kind of cool. I love that. Yeah, don't come in, you get peppered, right? Check this out, guys. It looks like, okay, first of all, it's kind of light. I'm going to, uh, well... Sort of. Right, we'll compare it here in just a second. Look at this, guys. That looks kind of like a Beretta 92. I like that design. In fact, I really kind of like that design. Check that out, guys. It's bigger than a Beretta. I can tell you that, but a whole lot lighter, that's for sure. You know what? Let's compare this side by side with one of the uh, uh, HTP 50s and see what it looks like. Be right back. All right, so this is the Alpha, as you can see. This is one of our HTP 50s. And I want to put these uh, side by side on Stumpy here so you guys can see it. So you can see that the Alpha is actually about an inch, inch and a half longer. And uh, actually, they're about the exact same height as far as the, uh, the plates go on the bottom. So it's a longer weapon and thickness is about the same too. So they're very, very close. Now, weight wise, guys, they are super close. So if you've ever held one of these, this is the same weight, but it's a bigger gun. So that's actually kind of interesting too. Now, another thing that's intriguing me about this, guys, is the loading mechanism on this. So, so as you can see, what you've got here is you've got the exact same loading mechanism. So you'll slide the slide forward, lock it into place, 
and you'll put in your rounds right there. Now, I don't know how many rounds this holds yet. I was going to check the book here in a second. I'm assuming it's got six, but it might actually hold eight because this is a longer weapon. So we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Now, once you've got the balls loaded in there, slide this down, and that'll lock it in place. Now, this is one thing I think is actually kind of cool, and it's inspired me to do something on our HTP 50s. So if you look at the bottom here, you can see actually how that is it's kind of sticking out a little bit. See how that works? So you pull down on it, kind of like a, um, a safety cap on like pills. You pull out on it and you twist to open the bottom. There you go. And once you get the bottom open, that is where you're going to insert your cartridge. And as you can see, that is your puncture, just like on the HTP 50. But this, guys, is very, very cool. I love the fact that this is, number one, it's going to conceal the bottom of that a little better than having this thing stick out. Now, that has given me some interesting ideas, and yeah, 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 you better believe that's coming. I'm going to be working on that here shortly. So, i tell you what I want to do, guys. I have no idea how this is going to fire. Let's grab a CO2 cartridge, they, since they were so kindly gave us some, and uh, let's put a drop of our, our gun oil on it here. There we go. Let's take our weapon, and we're going to drop in one CO2 cartridge like that. We're going to put this back in and start screwing it. And then as it hits the bottom here, guys, look here. You got to pull up and then screw it. And it gets tight. Once it gets tight there, then you can put this back where it belongs like that. Okay? Just like that. Now, at this point, you strike this. That'll puncture the CO2, at least in theory. Now, let's slide this forward. And let's go ahead and load in our the balls. Let's use some of their um, regular hard rubber 2.1 grams and see how they fire um those are actually kind of light but they're very smooth i like that so that's good all right so one two three four five six so we're not at the hole yet seven so seven looks like it'll hold seven rounds so one more than the HTP 50, but that would make sense because you've got about an inch right there. All right, let's move out to the range. I've got the chrono set up, and let's see. Uh, let's put a couple rounds down range, man. Tell me, 18 joules is going to be real. Here we go. This is a tricky shot. It's going to be coming right by the camera, so I'm hoping we actually get readings. I am promising nothing. So we're going to charge the weapon. Oh, this is cool. You'll like this. To charge the weapon, you hit the bottom. And as you see, kind of hurt, go thunk, and it popped out the hammer. So as you can see on the hammer there, it's got a little red thing. That indicates that it's actually charged. Now, this has the added benefit of being able to degas it by pushing this up, and that'll actually release the pressure. So let me get into position here. Hold on a second here. So we're going to go to feet per second. I'm going to get my cool. You know, it's funny. When I was showing you guys these funky glasses last time, that uh, I didn't realize that this side didn't actually have the logo. This side has the logo. Yeah, my groovy Berna glasses. You got to love them, right? All right, so we are now ready. I'm going to go back behind the camera, and I'm going to try to hit the sweet spot. Here we go. Guys, that does fire very hard. And it's got a pretty heavy trigger pull, too. I'm trying to get us. There we go. 376. So I tell you what we're going to do. Let me um, let me load up a couple of more balls here real quick. And I want to test and see if we're getting the same velocity. That's actually pretty good. That wasn't too bad at all. All right. Three, four, and six, and seven. All right. All right, guys. So just a little bit of proof that no matter how much you do this, you can actually miss things. Well, one thing I noticed on this it's got the trigger lock safety on this thing, guys. You cannot do a wraparound grab on this. You have to finger pull it. If you don't, it will hang on that frame every single time. So you've got to actually touch it properly in order to be able to pull that trigger. So that's kind of important to know. The trigger pull isn't that heavy if you're not trying to gorilla it. So let's go ahead and I've got a new CO2 in here. And oh yeah, as a surprise, can y'all see what I got loaded? Those are the practice pepper balls. So they ought to be nice and smooth and we ought to get a good feed. So let's give this a shot here. Okay, when you're striking the butt plate, guys, this is one thing else I'm noticing. You wanna strike up here in the front. Don't strike in the back. You will not get a good pierce, but if you're in the front, you get a good pierce every single time, all right? 
All right, let's try this again. I'm going to try to get us some readings here. Let's see what we get. Error. 418. Error. All right. 416. 405. 406, whatever that was. <laughs> and we are out. But as you can see, not one single issue with the feed on that. So, I'm thinking that the rubber balls, I was having a little bit of a feeding issue occasionally. Uh, a little silicone spray would have taken care of that. Those rubber balls are very kind of gummy. I noticed that too. But on the practice pepper balls, and just for giggles, uh, I've got a few more left here. Hold on a second here. And let's go ahead and throw those in. There's one, there's two, and there is three. And we're going to slide this up, let that let the follower follow. And let's do, this time I'm going to see if I can actually hit a can. Hold on a second. I guess I can. 417, huh? Let's see if I can just get another speed reading. And 404. See, advertising is actually correct. I'm amazed. Tell you what, let's go back in here. I want to talk about this thing a little bit. Here we go. All right, guys. So let's talk about the Alpha 1.5. Guys, I really, really dig this weapon. Now, granted, the HDP 50, that trigger was a little tricky. Once I figured that out, and I'll show you, you know, you've got the exact same thing on the HDP 50, but it's a lot more forgiving. This one is not forgiving. You have got to very lightly touch that trigger and then pull it fingertip. If you don't, if you do this, you're going to bind up every single time, and it's going to literally feel like you're pulling on steel. So make sure that you've actually, you're have actually you doing it correctly. Um, the follower, fantastic. Now, I would say if you're going to run the rubber balls, get yourself some silicone spray and give it a quick spritz as it goes through, and you'll be fine. Uh, the detent actually held very, very well, though. And on the, the subsequent pepper balls, the practice ones, you guys saw what it did. Not a single issue whatsoever. So out of the box... It's firing at 18 joules, guys, and that is pretty impressive for an out-of-the-box weapon. Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing that this is a pretty easy disassemble. So at some point in the future, we may look into seeing what else we can get out of this. But for right now, uh, that's pretty impressive. That's really, really nice, actually. Um, guys, I'm going to try to carry these in the shop. They are out of Italy. They import through Miami, and that's actually where this came from. I'm going to try to get these in here so that you guys will have access to them. I like it a lot. I think it's a great weapon. I love the fact that it's already black. You don't have to do anything creative like you do on this one. And uh, it'll fit pretty much any standard size holster. In fact, I would be willing to bet. Set him over there. Look at that, guys. Any standard size holster, it's going to fit perfectly. And I love this blacked out striker on the back. So basically... You couldn't tell. If someone was walking with that thing, you wouldn't know what the heck they were carrying. So I really do. I, I really like that a lot. So I will let you know. Stay, in, stay tuned on that one, and we'll see if I can carry them here in the shop. I'll offer them to you guys, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Thank you so much for watching. I got another one that came in. Same thing over at SHOT Show. One of our friends over at Gun Hanger actually sent me one of their, uh, what do you want to call that? Cool inventions, and it'll be going up next. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.